I recently traveled to the Bahamas and I stayed on the island of Abaco. Then I went to Nassau for a night and stayed at the beautiful Grand Hyatt Bahamar. I experienced some amazing things and in this video I will bring you with me on the adventure and I'll be doing a what's in my wallet segment so be sure to stick around for that. But first let's check out the house or should I say houses that we stayed at in Abaco. We're staying in this house over there and I'll just walk over the beach really quick. There's another house there, that little one there, but then there's obviously this big structure there. That's the main house. There's something, maybe a bar. And there's the beach, there's the pool right there. Let's go see the water. This is our private beach, there's kayaks. Um, yeah, that's it. This whole area, you can come out here at night or whenever you want to. That's cool. That's it, Vix up there. Talking to Lana. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. There you go. All right, just finished up a little run. Um, I think I'm probably gonna work out a little bit next. There's no gym here or anything, but I'm gonna do some push-ups or, I don't know, pull-ups or something. A little core work. Um, Today we're going to this island or something like a ferry to this place called Napers. It's like a boys trip. Man, I can't say enough good things about this place. It is so pretty out here. I'll show you on the map where it is. Kind of pretty remote area. A lot of nice houses around, but I think ours is the best. I'll show you all what we do later on today. Well, we ended up calling an audible and about half the group went to this random restaurant slash bar instead. It was a pretty unique place. It seemed to be on someone's private land and just basically one family running it. But I got some lobster and some beer and we ended up having a great time. There's Sandra. Somebody get a video, please. <laughs> 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 After a night of karaoke at Island Boys in Marsh Harbor, the next day we took a ferry to Hope Town to do some exploring. The first thing we did was climb to the top of the Elbow Key Lighthouse to get a pretty amazing view. And fun fact, the Elbow Reef Lighthouse remains the only active and manned light station in the world that has not been electrified. The lens is hand wound by a keeper and fueled by kerosene. We wandered around Hopetown for a few hours and stopped in at some hole-in-the-wall bars along with some shops. But after a while, the ferry picked us up and we headed back to the house for some important activities by the pool. For some reason, this seemed a lot more impressive at the time. But the next day was wedding day, which by the way is the whole reason we're down here. But before the wedding, we took a tour of the Abaco Club and ate lunch at Flippers. The Abaco Club is an ultra high-end private community on 500 acres off Winding Bay. The club is home to the number one golf course in the Bahamas, and it's also home to the Great Abaco Classic, a PGA Tour event held each January. But after lunch, we hurried back to the house for the wedding ceremony, and unfortunately, I didn't get many video clips because I was the official wedding photographer, so instead I'll put up some of the favorite shots that I got for you to enjoy. The day after the wedding, we chartered a fishing boat and went spear fishing, dough for conch, and did some regular fishing as well. After a while, we took a break to eat lunch at Firefly in Hopetown, but then we quickly got back out there for some more fishing. We ended up catching a ton of conch and cooked it up for dinner that night. Aside from the wedding day, I would say this was my favorite day of them all. It's pretty hard to beat snorkeling for conch in the Bahamas. The next day was just a chill by the pool day, but I like to keep active and decided to take the kayak out for a solo ride. All right, just kayaked one mile out to this island. You can't really get on the island. It's all like mangrove trees. And I flew the drone over and I'll show you the footage. It's not really all that exciting, but it's exactly a mile of a kayak from our house where we're staying. So mile there, mile back, it's a pretty good workout. Back over there in that shoreline, kind of right in 
that area right there. That's where the house is. So it's full mile. So if I gotta say anything about Abaco, it's that it is amazing. I mean, the scenery is beautiful. Everywhere is beautiful. Being able to just walk out. I mean, I could honestly just walk from the house out over to this island through the water. Um, right where I'm floating is about a foot deep. Out there more towards the middle, it maybe gets to about four feet deep, but you could easily still walk that or swim that portion where it's a little bit higher. But if you're a fan of anything outdoors wise, sporting, wise kayaking boating water ski jet ski all those different kinds of things and abaco can quench your desires for all of that back over that way is a guy windsurfing looks really cool seems hard but he's clearly pretty good at it so i don't actually have the cards with me but i figured this portion no better place to film a what's in my wallet video than out here a mile off the coast in a kayak in the bahamas but basically the only credit card that i brought for this trip is the capital one venture x actually the card that i used to book my flight i booked with american airlines and i was able to use the travel credit for 300 dollars. that actually got me a first class seat from lexington to miami and then miami to march harper now for that particular flight it was just one way because i'm actually getting home in another way i'm gonna fly western airlines from march harbor to nassau that's gonna be like a 10 minute flight at best and i'm gonna fly on delta from nassau to atlanta short little layover go to the delta sky club then atlanta back to lexington capital one venture x card just made the most sense for me to be the only card that i brought because no foreign transaction fees and it's a visa i do have my platinum card with me but marsh harbor and abaco in general are not that populated of islands they're definitely tourist destinations but most people when they go to the bahamas just go to nassau so most of the restaurants that we've gone to aside from really nice places like the abaco club which i'll be showing footage of that throughout this video if i haven't already most of the smaller places one don't take credit card at all and if they do they definitely don't take american express little baby conk he's growing maybe taking a nap sorry for disturbing you place you back gently Pretty cool place and that is definitely a big problem with american express in general i've been a huge fan of their cards for a long time but this is actually one of my first major trips internationally and people always say on my channel like yeah whenever i travel out of the country i can't use amex depends on where you're going if you're going to highly highly touristy places out of the country major cities then they probably will accept it but little places like this small islands remote areas they're definitely not going to take it and honestly they would prefer cash but that's actually also why i brought my charles schwab bank debit card just in case i needed cash i can get cash out of an atm I've done some videos on that card in the past and it's pretty sweet so even if you don't want to use charles schwab as your main bank that's fine you can still open up a brokerage account and get that card and take it with you whenever you're traveling internationally or just traveling anywhere where you don't want to pay any processing fees or take money out of any atm worldwide but those are the only cards i brought just the platinum to get in the delta sky club on the way home the venture x for pretty much all of my purchases and then my Charles Schwab bank debit card. Traveling is chaotic and you're kind of spending all over the place. And whenever I'm traveling, I'm not worried about the most amount of cash back that I'm gonna get or travel points. I just wanna keep everything as simple as possible. And the Capital One Venture X does earn 2X miles on all my purchases, so I'll take it. But this is our last full day here at Abaco. Tomorrow I'm gonna be taking that flight to Nassau and we're gonna be staying at Bahamar. We're gonna stay at Bahamar for just one night. Unfortunately, I wish it was like two or three or four, but I've been out of the country for a while now and I'm somewhat getting ready to go back. But this video is not over just yet. Keep watching, check out what I do for the rest of the day. And also be sure to see what I end up doing at Bahamar. See you soon. Look at how big that starfish is. Huge. Kinda see it. I mean. Look at this starfish. That big guy. Come here, bro. I'll put you back in. That is massive. Here you go, big dude. Our last night in Abaco, we got dinner at Pete's Pub, but I forgot to film anything. So now I'll just show you a walk through the room that we stayed at for all of 18 hours in Baja Mar. The room was beautiful and I was seriously debating adding another night, but I couldn't make it work with the flights. After getting settled in the room, we went to explore the property some and checked out the flamingos, looked at the cruise ships from the beach, and grabbed a drink at the T2 Cigar Bar. 
All in all, this trip was amazing and I was blown away with how beautiful Abaco along with Bahamar were. I would absolutely go back to both places and my only regret was not staying at Bahamar at least one more night. The Capital One Venture X was the MVP for me on this trip and on the way home, the Amex Platinum got me into the Atlanta Sky Club, which was a nice way to wind down after a long nine days out of the country. If you want to learn more about the Venture X, then be sure to check out the video that just popped up on your screen. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end and I will see you in the next video.